Good afternoon, everyone. This is Reverend Dr. Cynthia Red of the Preachers.org. And on today, I want to talk to you guys about honor. But the way I'm going to tackle it is going to be different. But first, let me pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for who you are. I thank you for being a good shepherd. I thank you for being Lord of my life. I thank you for everyone that listens under the sound of my voice. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for every YouTube subscriber, every member of Single Woman's Topic Online, and every member of Single Woman's Breakfast. Father God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for um, the Preachers.org, everyone that listens to me on the Preachers.org has visited the page. Um, Father, I thank you that it's a help to them and that they understand that past loves to cook too. You know, the pastor is a human, but she also honors God as well. Okay? Father God, in the name of Jesus, anyone in the sound of my voice that wants to give the Lord the life to the Lord and say, I say to Jesus Christ on his face, anytime you can do so, anytime. Whether it be in a private home, or whether it be amongst friends at church, or whether it be just alone, walking, enjoying the day. Father God, we thank you for the opportunity because we know that you so love the one you gave and only to your son that neither should have him or perish to have everlasting life. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you right now. And that is um, John 3, 16. Okay, let's talk about honor. Now, when we come into the world, the first two people we see are our parents. Okay? That's mama and daddy. Okay? Now, the first rule is to honor our parents. Okay, that's the first rule is to honor your parents. So let's look at Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4. And I'm going to read it. Oops, I'm going to pass. Open this chapter every day. Okay. And your fathers provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nature and the admiration of the Lord. Okay? So, this came after the first scripture before that, which was, children obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor their mother and father, which is the first commandment with promise. That it may be well with thee, that thou mayest live long on the earth. Like on yesterday, my daughter called me and said, Mom, I just want to see you. So she honored me by taking me out. She purchased me a rose. A white rose. I, I have it. Let me get it. So I won't be lying to you. Okay. Okay. And I think this is very unique. See how it says. So my daughter had purchased me this on yesterday, okay, and um, she had taken me to um, Texas Roadhouse, never been there, my daughter's been there, and you know, been living across, been living across it for three years, come this May, and been in town with it, that's two years, and I she was in Madison, um, Wisconsin, right across the street from it, and we went to it, which was pretty good, so she spun time with me and let me know. Uh, Mom, I love you. You know, I have a son. He moved away with his lady. But he contacted me when I showed a growing concern and let me know, Mom, I hear you, uh, baby, but I got something I need to do for myself to make me happy, which is good. Made me, me and her a little sad, my, my daughter and I. Okay. Now, the second rule of honor, as we try to children, is follow the rules and regulations of your educational institutions. Now, I'm going to say after, with this, within reason. Okay, if you need to be safe or feel safe, you know, because I had to do some things as a young kid, I never even shared. I'm going to share this now. I used to hide in the school hallway at a school named Henderson Elementary School because there, with some little boys, when I first went there, and gang raped me by the closet, okay? I would hide out in school. Um, the principal called me bad, suspended me at six years old. I went through a whole lot at that school. I still have dreams and nightmares about that place right now today, okay? I had a teacher lying, getting me kicked out of school at 12 and a half because my mom had died. 
a lot. So that's why I say, and then, and, that, and then the next school I went to, which was um, John A. Zababla, I ran out of that school, okay? And I missed the eighth, eighth grade school um, class picture. I wasn't informed of it. I had some second cousins that hated my guts um, from my great auntie's side. Cause I'm their cousin and this all the money rocking on. It was horrible. That's why I say within reason. I've had teachers mistreat me a lot. I can think of a good three or four in my lifetime that was just wonderful to me during my um, pre K to my AK years. Okay? It was rough. You know, I was raised at 12 and a half. Okay, by a grown man, then I was called a prostitute by an in law who's no longer an in law. Then in my sister's friend, she was calling me prostitutes, and people were calling me names I didn't even know. Of. You know, my sister home for But you know, that's not Irene passed away yet, that's lying on her. But let's get off into this uh, third one honor the rule of trust. For these entities, the reliability, the truth, or the strength, or of something that you need from them that they can provide for you that you rely on every day. You know, and you just take, you don't even think about it as a kid, like, oh, they're gonna make sure I have a place to stay, they're gonna make sure I eat. You don't think about that until you suffer homelessness, okay? Alright? Now, after my mom died, we suffered homelessness. Okay, my dad, he had to take us. Some of we got split up. But my dad took my brother, Fernand, and I, his oldest son. Um, and my family just, we went through a lot as kids. All of us suffered being homeless. And then as an adult, I suffered being homeless um, because of two bad relationships. Okay? Now, when it comes down to me, my self-team came in, not trusting anybody, that's my trust and reliability comes here and with that of God, okay? So a lot of people, that's why I have the single woman's ministry online now because I try to show them that, hey, you can do it alone, but you got to have faith in God. You got to have faith in God and you got to trust yourself with what you think. If you make a mistake, you have enough time to fix it to make it right so you won't be out there on the streets. Understand? So that trust also is within yourself. Even if you're second guessing yourself about something, still make sure. Okay? Now let's talk about the fourth. We learned as a child, the fourth rule is God. And your spiritual community is belief systems. How does this belief system apply to the world? Can I use this belief system in the world? Well, let me show you one of the methods in the belief system when it comes down to honoring God and what it says. This one is found in 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 12. Let me repeat that. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 12. Okay, here we go. Alright. Having your conversation honest about the Gentiles that whereas they speak against you as elders. No, I'm sorry. Having your, well, yeah, some churches, I'm sorry, in some churches, okay. Having your conversation honest against among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may be your good works, which they shall behold glory in. Which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it is to be king as supreme, or unto governors as to them that they are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers, for the praise of them that do well. For so it will, so is the will of God that. With well doing, with well doing, ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. So that doesn't mean that every rule in society 
is to be hung on fallen because a lot of that stuff is just morally incorrect. And that's for you to decide what's morally incorrect for you. Now, if we know that in the Word of God it says it's not correct, and that's not what I believe in, and we just not coming to the acknowledgement of God and what He believes in, and we have this one thing that we have not given to the Lord and still holds in the back of our mind, which means that we don't totally trust God. Okay? So, if we go back into that honoring yourself and trusting yourself, but yet, we have to learn how to trust God. Okay? Alright? So that's where we're all at. So let's go on to the fifth. The fourth, the fifth one. The fifth rule is to honor your job by being fully trained to perform and have an educational background to support your non-experience or apply trade expertise in your demanding field. It depends on what field you're in, okay? You know, it depends. But let's look at Colossians chapter 3, verse 22, okay? Servants obey in all things your master according to the flesh. Not with assets as men please, but in singleness of heart, being God. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord, and not unto me. Knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance of ye, of ye serve the Lord Christ. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which ye have done. And there is no respect of persons. Now, that means God rewards the just and the unjust and punishes the just and the unjust, okay? He does that. And we honor Him for that because we trust and believe and know that it's true. Because in the book of Numbers, He tells us in chapter 23, I'm a man that I should not lie, neither. Son of man should be with him. Okay? So, in looking at honor today, when we put everything together, when we're looking at honor, the key note in this is trust. So, when you trust something and you have the evidence that they are who they say they are, and that they have no respect of a person like God, and that God is there and He's helping you on a regular basis, like I am learning right now. Is that he's going to be there. But that don't mean he's stupid and foolish either. Foolish and foolishness of men. Don't do that. Just remember, God is there. And that's the way of honoring him and remembering that this scripture protects us every day. Every day. You see this King James Version of the Bible? This Bible. is our only plan and it protects us every day but don't be foolish use some wisdom so father god we thank you for the fact that i can discern that wisdom is important and that discernment is important but in trusting trust is the bottom line when we're on you so when we trust the lord we honor the lord when we're trusting you, we honor you, Lord. When we look in the scripture and we take that same scripture every day and we get up and use it in the morning, everybody says, don't have a ritual. Oh, country, but then you do We laugh at you, say. We laugh at you, false preachers, for that. But she's already there, that the glory of God reigns. He reigns. <coughs> he reigns. Oh God, you reign in the book of Isaiah. Every house that's built, <coughs> that's built out here, 
is built by faith. Whether it be in your expertise, trains, apprentices, then the apprentices, and then the, the apostles, and the apostles, the builders of the faith, the twelve disciples being taught by Christ. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for what we say in the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and 3, and dealing with the seven churches. Lord, we thank you, but we leave it to one of our middle so that our minds are being delivered. When we're looking at honor, and we look at trust, because trust is the foundation of honor. Trust is the foundation of honor. And we thank you, Lord, for the souls that are one on your behalf, Christ. We thank you, Lord, of all the city of the Lord. My goal is always being church vibes to guys because it gives me the opportunity to repent, 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 repent. I thank you, Jesus, for that. I thank you for the repentance. I thank you, Lord, for trusting you because trust is honoring you. Thank you, Jesus, that the leader for me. That the enemy may not lie away, the may not take hold, may not get the victory. That we get it, Lord. As your trust popping, I tell you, Lord, we get the victory in your name, Jesus. But it is so. It is so. Forgive us for all our wrongs against you. Psalms 51. I sin against no man, but I sin against you, Father. Again, it's a sin against you only. Amen. Amen. Go on, Lord, guys. I wish you all next week. Amen.